You know how I like to do different experiments with liquid nitrogen. So today I decided to freeze this basketball and throw it from the height of the fifth floor. As usual, we bought a full tank of liquid nitrogen. Hope this will be enough. Also for the basketball we have this bucket. So let's do that. Oh man, just look at this. But this is what happens when you are skipping the chemistry classes. When liquid nitrogen hit the ball, it freezes its surface along with the air inside the ball, which simply shrank. But we still have another ball, the one for soccer, so we'll do the opposite this time. Which means first I put liquid nitrogen in the bucket and only then the ball. And we left the ball for more than 30 minutes actually in it. Just look what we've got, it's a freaking huge snowball. By the way, what do you think will happen as a result with the ball? Be sure to take the ball. Ok, let's do that while it's still frozen enough. It turned out not quite what I expected. Only the top cover fell off. The ball itself is completely intact. But wait, how about... Has anybody seen my hammer? Wait a second, need to talk with my clumsy friend. As you can see, the ball was a toughie. Apparently because of the leather surface. And actually only this decoration was really frozen, not the ball itself. But look at our basketball. It melted a little and became round as before. Guys, have an idea. Let me pour liquid nitrogen on a trampoline and then drop a kettlebell on it. Write in the comments what do you think about it. That's it for today. Don't forget to like this video and make sure you subscribe to my channel. Leave your comments below and take care.